Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me. And this is not a new tool to Stampin' Up! by any means, but in this video, I'm just going to revisit the envelope punch board because it's a great tool. And I had a question about it, about figuring out sizes of paper that you need per card. And it's really easy to use. Everything's right here. So I know many of you already know how to use the punch board. That's great. But this is for those who it may be new to, or you may be considering purchasing one. So on here, you have uh, measurements for card sizes, paper sizes, and the score line. Those are the main things you need to know. So your card size, if it's a standard size card, so say it's like this, four and a quarter by five and a half, a standard size A2 card. You would find that first right here, four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? And then you go over to the paper size and it tells you to cut your piece of paper eight by eight, which I've chosen this designer series paper and it is cut. And then you keep going across and your score line is three and one half. So once you get your card size, you know that, cut your paper, then the three and a half inch score line is the only measurement you're gonna to have to remember, okay? And it's for the first uh, score only. All right, so in, in on the side, you have a, a scoring tool and it stores in there very neatly. And let me double check myself, three and four and a quarter by five and a half, three and one half, okay? So I'm going to take this edge of the paper, line it up to three and one half, and I'm gonna punch, and then I'm going to take this tool, stick it up inside this indention here, and run it along that score line, okay? And it scores it very nicely, all right? So now I'm going to turn it and we're going to line up that score line that we just did with this little scoring guide. And so you want that little point to be on that score line. Don't have to measure anything else. Punch and score. And let's do it again. Line it up on that score line. Punch and score. Line it up again. And we're doing this four times, punch and score. All right, so now we've scored on all four sides. And if you would like, these, this is gonna be the top or this one, top and bottom there, and here are your two sides, okay? So I'm going to take it, and you have a reverse punch tool right here. So you're gonna slide that in if you want rounded corners or rounded points there and punch. So I'm going to do these two top and bottom. Okay? So then all you have to do is fold in these two sides. Okay? And then what I do here is put adhesive here and here. So let me go ahead and put some fast fuse. Okay? And then I'm coming up to another question that I received. And it's like right here, this extends beyond this fold line, this, these two fold lines. And that's correct. That's absolutely correct. All right. It is going to extend like that. Then here's the top that folds down. Okay. And then we can take our card. And it's just a perfect fit for the inside there. You would put a little bit of adhesive to secure that. Now, one thing I will tell you on this particular part if you like, you can take that and fold that down like that. And I like that because you can see the contrasting piece of paper on right down here as well. Okay, so uh, hope that answers your questions about the envelope punch board. Like I said, I had received two, one about this extension here, and then one about actually knowing how big to cut your paper. It's all right here, very easy to use and a great tool. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to try to address them in a video and uh, feature it on my tips on Tuesday. So uh, let me know. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.